Hi and how are you all today? Let us do the following question together. It says let A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. These are the elements of set A. Insert the appropriate symbol belongs to or does not belongs to in the blank spaces. Now these are the six parts of the question which are given to us and we are given set A. Now first let us be well versed with what does this sign means. This is the symbol of belongs to and this is the symbol of does not belongs to. Right? The knowledge of these symbols are the key idea we are going to use in order to proceed on with our solution. Right? So let us write down all the six parts of the question together and then simultaneously we will think of each and everything. Now let us think of the first given part. 5 blank A. In the given set A we are given set A as the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Now does 5 belong to set A? That means is 5 an element of A? The answer is yes, right? So we'll write the symbol that is it belongs to. Proceeding on is 8 a symbol of an element of A? The answer is no. That means it does not belongs to A. Similarly, 0 does not belongs to A. 4 belongs to A. 2 belongs to A. But 10 does not belong to A. So, the knowledge of these two symbols helped us in identifying whether these were the elements of set A or not. And we have filled up our blank spaces with the symbol that says that this is a symbol of belongs to and this means it is a symbol of does not belong to. When 5 is an element of set A given, then we will say that it belongs to A and when an element is not present in the set, then we say that it does not belongs to. So this completes the entire question which was given to us. I hope you enjoyed the session and now remember what these two symbols stands for. Bye for now.